Okay, you guys. So, yes, it is finally here. <sighs> the Black Box Toys presents Rocketeer one to six scale action figure. I've waited a while for this, and now we 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 finally have it. Yes, we we have it. Um, I okay. I I went cheap. I didn't buy the one with the fancy jet um, stand. Because that was like an extra 50 quid and times are hard and I just could not warrant 50 quid for a base that I probably will never use. Because I will probably just stand him on the shelf. Maybe like that. That is kind of a nice pose. Or more like that. That is also a nice pose. Or maybe like that. I don't know. But one of them will definitely be the way he is posed. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. There you go. You're going to see round... The edges a bit, but there we go. Yeah. So he slides out of the box like through. I should put that safely over there. And then inside here we have another. Can you see that the black box? That comes out of there, and we have foam underneath that. The box actually is very thick and very heavy. I have to say, and very very safely packed. So there are the man himself, Cliff Seacott. Um, we have the helmet, which I will say does look a little bit too shiny and a little bit too coppery at the minute. But I'm sure, as with the Indiana Jones figure I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, we will all work on it and make it look how, how we want it. There is a nice, I think you've seen there, there is a nice sort of thing to put his head in when it's on his head. There you go, which has fallen out. But I'll work with that. So yeah, I like the helmet. It's nice. We have himself as I said his shoelaces you can't see shoelaces yeah but his shoelaces are all over the place I have to say <laughs> has a little bag over his head which is not a good idea for anybody tips out there people don't put plastic bags over your head some of his arms and things are obviously in the wrong direction there we go I don't know is he a bit is he a bit boss let me just move that because it's like one big black shape in the background is he a little bit boss side I don't know it doesn't really matter because he's probably going to be wearing this thing for the rest of his life. So that goes on his head like that. I guess it was supposed to be glued on, but it isn't. And then that goes over the top. And it does seem a little bit big, but then we don't have his jacket on. But then it's got to go over his hair and stuff, so that's why it's like that. We have that, which has got little studs in it, which I guess are for the jacket. If the This is about I'm scared of. If the, if the buttons come off the jacket, we have some spares. Fingers crossed that's what they're for. This is a, well, I was a little bit worried about this, but it's got the gun in it. So there is his Mauser, which is a very nicely detailed. And I think, no, it's plastic. I thought it might have been metal. But it is plastic. But at least they've given him the right gun and a gun. Because so many of these Rocketeer figures, you don't get a gun with it. Because of new and important safety rules. That is his um, uh, holster. And underneath here is... Ta -da! Put that down safe. Um, okay, we've got the pack. We've got one, two, three, four sets of hands. We've got the... Um, uh, thing that you'd attach the pack to and the jacket which and the this bit which is the front of the jacket so that has to go over yeah that way and that has to attach to that which is sorry that has to attach to that which is probably going to be I forgot I'd put the camera so I up <laughs> which is probably going to be a bit of a problem. So that is going to have to attach on there, which will be interesting. It does have a real zip, which nicely unzips, and there is there is nice material in there. Actually, they've lined they've lined the jacket, which is pretty cool. I say the first job will be getting the jacket on over his shirt. Then the second job will be getting that and that and. It's going to be a job, so I'm going to go off and do that. 
Um, and I'll see you in a fortnight. I mean, I'll see you in a f later. Which it won't be later, because it'll be now. But for me, it will probably be a week. Uh, and we have his coat on at last. Um, yes, that was that was a job. I got frustrated. Um, a button came off. I got more frustrated. But thank you, Claire. You sorted out the button and sorted out the coat and have more patience with this than me. So, yeah, he's definitely, definitely, <laughs> the coat is a pain. But I have swapped over the hands. I was not happy with the gun. I'm going to show you. I put this like that and it just didn't. I can see that it just doesn't look right to me. The gun looks too small, doesn't quite fit in the glove. I just didn't like it, so I left it off. I've also left off the holster because the movie version doesn't have a holster. I don't think because he just picks the gun up off the floor. So I left the holster off. Obviously, this is the movie version because of the backpack, because in the original graphic novel. It looks very much like a vacuum cleaner that somebody leaves hiding in a plane. If you ever seen, if you ever read the original graphic novel, comic book, that's what it looks like. So yeah, this is the final thing. I will say I think the helmet may be a little bit too big. I don't know. They also the lining in there has come off, so the helmet isn't quite on right. It's grown on me over the last few days, but the first time I put that helmet on him, I was like, that looks wrong. I think it maybe the eyes are a bit too big. Maybe the fin's not quite big enough. I don't know, but it just doesn't. It's acceptable. I can get on with it. It does remind me of back in the day when I first went to, um, well, they call it Hollywood Studios now. Back then it was MGM Studios. And I used to have a Rocketeer like not on that Rocketeer show, they had a Dick Tracy show. They had a Rocketeer show and like stunt, no, not even a stunt thing. They just used to fly at the end of the thing. When they were doing the fireworks, he would take off and fly. And they used to have a guy walking around, obviously the Rocketeer walking around and you could have your picture taken with him, which I never actually saw him, but I was told he was there. Um, and the helmet always looked a little bit too big. And I think, that is kind of maybe where this helmet is coming from. It just feels a little bit, I'm going to do that, there we go. I keep having to alter the tripod because sometimes I do figures that are this big and sometimes I do figures that are that big and I have to move it around. So yeah, I like, I, I don't think it's too bad. Like I say, it's grown on me. It works for me. I like it. I swapped the hands for those ones because I thought that looked better. He comes in height wise. Let me just put his feet reasonably together. He's over 30 centimeters or 12 inches. So yeah, he's, a, he's tall. I like it. Like I say, the coat is a pain in the tush to button up, but on overall, I think it, I think it's acceptable. I think it's really nice for the price as well. When you think of how much some of the older versions that companies made of this guy, you know. I would have liked them to have put the chewing gum, his gum, on the back, but I'm sure somewhere I have some, I was looking, I sorted some out the other day and I've lost it, uh, blue tack, which I'll just paint pink and stick on around there. So yeah, I, I think it's a nice, a nice figure. It stands, it looks good, it's going to look good in your collection with any other characters you choose to put with it. I am going to probably stand him on a shelf because I have him stood on like what I call my pulp comic book character shelf, the, the little versions that I have. Um, but this one is probably going on a shelf close to Indiana Jones. He's in with the Marvel characters, so yeah. By the way, if you haven't, I did review this one a while ago. Go please watch it. I haven't ever reviewed that, but if you'd like me to review some of my old hot toys and things like that, comments at the bottom. You know what to do. 
comments at the bottom. Let me know if that's what you want me to do. Um, I will say, I hadn't noticed when I, I bought this a very long time ago, but they'd repainted the shield with Tamiya Red. Transparent. And it's all scratched off as I was getting it out of the cabinet. So, yeah. But I picked these three, well, I picked these two figures to go with him for a reason. Can anybody tell me in the comments underneath why I picked Captain America Indiana Jones to go with the Rocketeer? Yeah, I'm sure somebody, somewhere can. So yeah, that is the review. Um, I say, if you want to know anything about it, leave me comments at the bottom. I say, it is a fantastic figure. It, like I say, just maybe the helmet is a little bit wrong scale. I did have a look. You can buy one on um, Amazon. You know, I might do that later on. I do have a life-size helmet of the Rocketeer. I should maybe have worn that while I was doing the review. But then you guys wouldn't have seen it. Uh, oh, just out of interest, the laces are a little bit long on the boots. I may at some point trim those down so they're not quite as dangerous to his health. But yeah, all in all, it stands nice. It's been stood without a stand uh, on the table over there for a few days now. And it has not... For like, this table has a habit, because I'm leaning on it, of wobbling. So that's why I'll probably follow. But yeah, I think this is a really, really nice figure. And if you are interested in one, I would definitely recommend picking one up if you want to have a Rocketeer in your collection. He's one of my all-time favourite figures, uh, characters. Uh, okay, my useless story for this, and I'm going to try and do this really quick, because I did. I filmed this the other day and it sounded like I was rambling. I was left home alone for the first time. I would passed my driver's test, my mum and dad went to Florida without me and I, my mum was panicking, she wanted to say the start of the car and stuff like that, but anyway, I panicked, I, I, I went to the cinema and I went to see uh, a new film that had come out, I don't know if you've heard of it, called Terminator 2. When I got there, um, I missed the first, well, the first show, the nearest showing to it, so I thought, oh, I'll go see something else. I thought, oh, that Rocketeer looked good. I go see that and I came out and I was like wow this was brilliant it was a fantastic film I, I I loved it and then I went to see Terminator 2 and it was this new CGI special effects and I was like oh that made some of the older you know effects in the other film look a little bit old but yeah that's my other Rocketeer story I still love it I still watch it on a regular basis um, now all I need is a Timothy Dalton figure to go with this so yeah <laughs> yeah thank you for watching guys like i said if you're new here and you've, you haven't subscribed please do so hit the button down there like share there is a tips box down there as well you know all the stuff to do it's what we always talk about thank you for watching guys i hope you'll have a great day i hope you have a great night and i'll see you all in the next video the battery light's flashing again i get this a lot and sometimes when the battery light flashes it actually goes on for a lot lot longer than i think it's going to go on for but I have to finish the video reasonably quick. So, also, the neighbours seem to be banging a lot today. So, if you can hear that in the background, really sorry about that. But it could stop at 